Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome, we're at Chai Blossom Cafe in beautiful Polly's Island, and my guest chef today is the owner of my big fat Greek kitchen in Myrtle Beach. It's Andrian Geis, and she's got a fish recipe that, well, I tell you what, let her tell you what it's gonna be. It's got a little bit of Greek to it. Okay, Andrian, thank you very much Ooh, for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Well, great, I am excited about this, because this is a first for us. Yes, well, I like to take a little bit of Greek and mix it with the South or any other area. And I fish actually in the South, and I like using fresh fish. Right now we got a fireback grouper. Okay. And I got it from Seven Seas Seafood. Yeah. Beautiful fish. You could substitute any fish you want for this. Okay. Okay, I, the grouper right now is what's fresh, so that's what I like to use. All right. I have my own spice. It is a mixture basically of za'atar spice and shawarma spices, but I have my own mix. It'll be on your website. Okay. People could find it. Now, all of these great things they can experience at your restaurant, right? I do personal chef work, oh, private wow. chef work. Awesome. I do little private cooking classes as well. Great. And folks, if you want a copy of Andrian's recipe, just log on to bobredfern.com and it'll be there. Okay, what's right. next? I put a little, I salt it first, always salt. All right. And then my spice rub goes on pretty heavy. It's going to be basically blackened with this rub. So okay. it's like a blackened fish, I gotcha. except it's the Mediterranean spices. Here, let me get okay. that pan and turn him around a little bit. And I know it looks like I'm doing this heavy, but it, like That's I said, okay. it's like blackened. So I'm going to press it down in there. You're the chef. Yes. You can do anything you want. <laughs> Okay, nice hot pan. We're going to put this in here. Now, you're going to blacken this? I'm going to blacken okay. it with Mediterranean spices. Okay. While it's blackening on that side, because mm. it saves a little time, I'll put some more spices on it. That's, that spice smells great. Okay, once the fish gets nice and dark on one side, see how it blackens? Oh, yeah. You'll flip it. And your spice helps to do that, too. It helps to do it, and it seals in the juices. Oh, wow. You get a nice coating on it. Okay. Okay. okay, so once the fish is cooked through, yep. you lay it on your, it's a Greek style pita. Okay. You can make your own or you could get some local artesian made pitas. Sure. And let me put Here, the pan out of the way. I'll take the pan. <laughs> How about that? So we layer it. I like to put a lot of meat on things. And once we got that on there, I put a little bit of my homemade tzatziki on there. Okay. And you kind of really want to go pretty heavy with this. It's going to kind of melt with the heat of the fish and the juices will be soaked up in the pita, which is why you want the Greek style pita. It's a little thicker right. and it'll get the juices that this will make together. Here I have a pickled, it is cucumber, tomato and onions that mm. are pickled with a little bit of vinegar, salt, pepper and a little bit of uh, sugar. And take that and you put a nice layer on top. Look at that. Okay. That's fantastic. Now, this is when it really comes together. This is when the magic happens. You want to fold it up. And I take a little bit of foil because right. it's a nice, thick sandwich. Ah. And wrap the end so the juices don't drip on you when you're eating it. Look at that. And there we go. And that. on the side, I make a little bit of black eye pea tabbouleh. Okay. Which is uh, parsley, onions. It's got the black eyed peas, obviously, some tomato, and it has a lemon olive oil vinaigrette on it. So I guess dressing. And Fabulous. that's how you would serve it. There some you go. tzatziki on the side if you want it. And that is a fish gyro. <laughs> there you go. Well, Andrean, thank you so much for being a guest chef thank today. And me. folks, if you'd like to experience a great recipe like we've got today, just log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. And the next time you're in Myrtle Beach, stop on by my big fat Greek kitchen and you'll see this young lady down there. She'll be making some food that I know that you will want to test. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina-grown products. It's a matter of taste.